Hi guys, Blake and Ryan here today with Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. It is Friday, December the 13th? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Friday, December the 13th, right. and this is the one cast. Today we have boated up uh, right across from the long dock above Short Creek, and we are going to fish this bluff side see what happens today I am using a 16th ounce sculpin head sculpin and peach jig on four pound test and Ryan what are you using ounce. Ryan's using a 332nd ounce and sculpin and an peach head. with an orange head and we are gonna see how this works out I don't think I'm gonna step down here I didn't want to hog all the camera there I felt like it was kind of close to me. <laughs> All right. Yesterday morning I came out fishing and fished a jerk bait. Uh, I started at the bottom of Fall Creek uh, Marina, their dock on the bluff side and fished all the way down and I had the best luck from the long dock all the way down to Trout Hollow Lodge. So that's where we decided to start today. Don't have a lot of fishing reports. We haven't, yeah, man, haven't been too busy this out. week. I imagine everybody's busy with getting Christmas shopping done and getting ready for the holiday. About the only fishing reports or we have is doing one cast. Yeah. I know we had somebody setting off the dock the other day who said they were using, I think, orange and white power bait. And they were catching a couple. Yeah, I think I do hear, hear that. But other than that, yeah. It's been a pretty quiet lake, even though the weather's been really nice, actually, in the afternoon. It's cold in the mornings, but... Yeah, I think this is probably one of our last days for a while of the nice 50 degree weather. It's yeah. supposed to be a high of 45 tomorrow and then dropping off from dropping here. off chance of snow yeah, Saturday I night. Go cut some wood tomorrow, huh? <laughs> yeah, you better. I don't know if the 16th ounce jigs. Uh, we ca I called the generation number and it said that they were running three units. I don't know if it's quite three, but like two to me. Definitely fast enough. I don't think my 16th ounce jig is sinking like it should. We got one other boat out in the water here. Yeah. I think I had a bite on that first cast, but it could have been a stick. Nothing officially on the one cast. I know that was a couple casts ago, but nothing officially. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's one. Nice. Oh, look at that little stalker. Is this camera on or? Yep. You know, surprisingly, he's still got his normal colors. Most of the fish we've been catching lately have been darkened up in the mating colors, but uh, he's still got the nice light green and pink. Got something there, I'm just not sure what it was. <laughs> Every time me and Ryan use that camera, we have. Every time. We fight it. I even told myself I was going to go through and make sure the setting was right. And I, was like, <laughs> I got distracted by the uh, fishing pole in the boat. <laughs> Every time. Oh, well, I guess maybe it isn't sinking too slow. Just try it, huh? At least one fish liked it. Getting into a little shallower water too. Yeah, this is right on the bluff side where it starts to curl around and switch channels here. So it kind of shallows up through this area. 
There always seems to be some fish holding right in here too. Well, there used to be before the, I think it was the 2011 flood. There used to be a really deep hole all the way around. Really? And then that gravel bar came out two thirds of the way across. You had to really stay on this side, get around it. Huh. And uh, on that 11 flood, it just pushed all that gravel over here and filled in the hole. Yeah, used to, you could drift over this, power bait, night crawlers, anything, and pull it right off that shelf in the hole and catch a fish. Got a lot of good fish through here. Which is still holds good fish, you know, yeah. that brown over here, but the hole and the shelf's just not there like it used to be. It's amazing how that water can move that much rock that seemingly easily. Yeah, in the bank. Yeah, in the bank. That black and yellow has been working really good lately. That yellow? That looks like black and chartreuse to me. Here, that black and yellow. What size is it though? 330 seconds. I just had that in my pocket. <laughs> so that was out in my pocket. <laughs> pocket jig? Yeah. It's kind of like always keeping a lighter and a knife on you in case you get stranded, you know? Yeah. yeah. Keep a couple fishing jigs in your pocket. Yeah, it helps you eat when you get stranded. Right. <laughs> Unless they uh, go through the wash and get all tangled up in your pocket. <laughs> I've, got a few, I've got a few pair of pants that have, oh, there was a good hit. They got some jigs stuck in the pockets I haven't been able to get out. <laughs> I don't want to cut them out either because they don't have a hole in my pocket. Cut the barb off. Oh, I can't waste a good jig though. I know. We'll just keep it there for emergency situations. Well, that ain't yellow either. That's shark food. That's yellow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. All right, go in. <laughs> I might be a little colorblind. Yeah, yesterday when I drifted over this spot right here, I was seeing a lot of fish swimming underneath the water. Those are the ones you can seemingly never catch. The ones you can see. <laughs> oh, that was a good, good pull. Man. Let's see if I can get hung up in a tree here. Easily done in this section. Yeah. I've got to imagine underneath all that wood though there's got to be a few big brown trout yeah i mean it's kind of they're just accident. almost impossible to get to just about has to like there's a stick i luckily came over <laughs> i mean look at it you can't not cast in there i know all that. Like, you know there's one it's just sucking shad in or something yeah like that big tree 
<laughs> uh, I almost got it. Oh, I know he got it back. Great new old look out. Yeah. One good thing about being able to use four time. Sure did. It's always dangerous straightening the hooks back out with your finger. Yeah, I've had a few casualties. <laughs> Things low. There's one. Ryan found one in the dead, dead water right behind the trees there. Yeah. My favorite spot to cast, right behind the dead water tree. See if I can slow the boat down a little bit. A little better one, that's nice. Yeah. I'm seeing all kinds of little baby ducks. Yeah. Well, those are, uh, I can't remember what those are called. They're called dive ducks. A lot of the time under the water. I think they'll come over here and anchor us on this little... Oh, the black and yellow is working pretty good, isn't it? Not yellow, it's dark. <laughs> lying to the people. <laughs> Tell them the truth. <laughs> That green that they have in there, it's such a pretty green. Just barely there in the right sunlight, but it's pretty. I love the anchor mode on this thing. Isn't it handy? It's very handy. It's a little wild occasionally, but yeah. for the most part, it's pretty nice. It's a little less wild than whenever I'm trying to manually anchor a boat <laughs> with a trolling motor uh, and fish at the same time. That's uh, there. So right now we're anchored just a little bit above Trout Hollow Lodge. Tricked him. They definitely like the black and yellow in this. The black and chartreuse. <laughs> I got you saying it now. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Still good color though. That little belly, he's been eating good. I might have to switch over. Good. I knew there was a reason I kept that jig in my pocket. There's a bunch more on the deck. <laughs> I think this is the same size. Three for three in this hole? Yeah. Troll motor's getting a little squirrely. Uh, what, four for four now? Uh -huh. Right in that current, the dead water line is right about where they're hitting it. Ryan says that he's fishing the line between the dead water and the uh, still or in the current, and that's exactly where they're biting it every time. All right, let's see if it's just Ryan or if it's the color of the jig here. That one's a little more lively. Kind of got him inside the face a little bit. Ooh, Hang on, I'll let you get, let you out of 
two floppies on me. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Yeah. Let me turn this camera on over here. It's on, I got it. Okay. It's going correctly this time, I think. Oh no, it must be you, Ryan. I didn't get any bites. He's a lively little creature. I'll let you go now. I told you. I'd let you go. I love it. My watch said, keep up the good work. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see him now. Oh, I missed one. A little touch there. Oh, a little bump. Yeah, this summer, this is one of those spots you'd always pass and there'd always be a boat anchored off right over here in this, yeah. in this pocket. Lost my... Five for five, yeah. We broke the spree. Yeah. Took me too long to get that one off the hook. My pocket jig must have had some luck on it. <laughs> That's something on it. Maybe it had some food crumbs stuck in it. <laughs> you something on your pocket? <laughs> I'll go down a little bit farther. Maybe we have a little school move down. Yeah. Just a dead spot all the way down that real big sticky more down there. Well, I can see him jumping down there. Little and little midgen. Are you sure these are the same colors? Yeah, I'm positive. I don't know. Look. a little more yellowy to me. It does next to that one. Hair yellow. Not a lot. Maybe two shades. <laughs> two shades makes the difference today. This definitely is making today. <laughs> There's another one. I was just jigging out down like crankbait. Just right there on that seam line. Yeah. Just fishing it super slow and deep. There's another nice one. Yeah, that's pretty Usually the fish down here are a little bit smaller. Oh, he's like blue. That's crazy. Look at that. Whoa. Blue. Blue back on him. He's even got little blue spots down in his stomach. Yeah, that's weird. Cool. Very strange. Yeah, I was right on the bottom of that one. I was thinking they slowed the water down a little bit since we got out here. Look at the bank over there. Yeah, it is dropped some, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe they went from the three that they said they had to, to two. To two. That one's called. The 
water where we're fishing right now out there is probably about 14 to 15 feet deep, so yeah, it's we're really over in the channel. It's going to be getting a little deeper here. Yeah, where, where our boat is is a little deeper, but where we're fishing out there is about 14 feet or so. Yeah. So you really got to let it let it sink. Patience game. Get us a little bit closer to that. Whoa. Too far. Easy there, turbo. I think that's about right. Trout Hollow had a maybe a grease fire yesterday. There was a post on Facebook that really? fire trucks were there and I asked Steve Dick, he lives right next door about it. He said it was a real in one of their small units, a real small fire, no hmm. no injuries, not a real big deal, just a little a little bit of damage to fix. Well when you got fish fries going on all the time, I guess a grease fire is a uh, yeah, he wasn't to be sure expected what it, every what once in a while. Was. He said this wasn't wasn't real bad. Oh, hey, I'm telling you right now that that two shades of yellow is making the difference there. Well, the difference. You're gonna have to get a little closer to the bank for that. That's one thirty second there. Oh, no. uh, it's kind of yellow. Real small. We didn't bring very many jigs. Today. No, we didn't. Look at that. That's yellow. Oh yeah, that's a 132nd though. Yeah, you're gonna have to get closer with that. I don't know. You don't know about that. You got two I don't know about there? that. No, I got four pound on here. You tie both those jigs on. Laugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's been done. Okay, I'll try it. Two trout it. So we're gonna, I'm going to do a little finagle in here. I don't have two pound tests and the water's still moving pretty quick. So I'm going to tie on two 132nd ounce black and yellow jigs. Double up. Double your odds. When you don't have the proper gear with you, you just got to make do sometimes. Still had to take his tackle box See if I can get a double, two fish on the same awesome. on each jig. Good possibility. It seems like I've had a few trailers following the other den. It wasn't yesterday, but the last one of the last times I went jerkbait fishing, I was reeling in a fish, and the jerkbait was hanging out of his mouth, and another fish was coming up for the jerkbait in his mouth. Wow! Here, I'll just cool, show man. you guys now what that looks sure like there. Make, make fishing fun. You can find a school of them and mm -hmm. start fighting over. Let's see how the double 132nd ounce. I've never done it with small jigs like I that. I haven't either. But I've done it up top with like 332nd when they're running a lot of yeah. water. Whenever they're running the floodgates, I've done it with, uh, you know, two 332nd white jigs trying to get to the bottom a little better than 1 8th ounce. But I've never done it with little little jigs before. Get it. Follow you up to the boat All there. Way. He was really brown in color. We're finding some all kinds of colors I today. Know. That's weird. White, silver. I've and... never seen that blue before though. That oh, there was one. Cool. Had a bite. It works. My improvisions are working. I don't know if that's a word or not. Sounds good. I was 
was getting ready to say it if you didn't. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out the right way to say it. <laughs> Double. Oh, we're doubled up. I wonder which one he bit, the top or the bottom. Got the bottom one. Bottom? Yeah. Got that trailer. Got the trailer jig. Oh. Oh, Ryan's came off. He's out of here. Here's that one. He's a... Quick release. Normal colors. Normal, normal, colors. normal dark, normal dark green and light pink. <laughs> Man, I got two, two hooks to worry about. I know. <laughs> That's the most dangerous thing with double rigs. Yeah, it's not as bad as a stick bait or a crank bait. Oh, I was trying to avoid that. There you go, little buddy. Pull the boat out just a little bit here. Kind of getting a little too close to the bank. Yeah, there's that fine line. It's hard to, to ride. Well, yeah, and whenever you're on the line, the current's either pushing you out or in. So, always got to make little adjustments. So, the difference between the lighter shade of green and or yellow to chartreuse has made the difference. That's it. Today. You're correct. Oh, that's all that yellow. It sure doesn't look that <laughs> by itself though. Or it's just the dye is a little lighter. Yeah, it could be. Getting radio up here. I guess we're not that far away from the resort. Oh, it's a crow pod. It's really not straight over there. Thank you, ma'am. They definitely slowed the water down. Yeah. I don't know. It's moving pretty fast over there. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, I'll have to try this 130 double 130 second rig out a little, yeah, because you get a little more often. They, the trout seem to like a small bait. Yeah. So you get that small bait, but, but you weight, get the weight of like a sixteenth yeah. ounce, and you got twice as many. You know, they see two things flowing through two the water at once. Yeah. Now, the only thing I have about it is it might slow down the tail action on one of them. There was a bite on that top one. On the top one, but you still got the tail action on the back one. Yeah, because I don't like fishing a light jig very often. I, I, I like a heavy, really be able to feel yeah. what I'm jigging when I'm doing it. Which, I probably miss a lot more fish for that fact, but. You know, it still sinks relatively pretty slow. Yeah, yes, you got the double hair flowing it down. Alright, let's go down to the pump down there. Down to the pump, it. we'll call it. Yeah. Alright. This bank turned out to pay off today. It did. Pleasantly surprised. Yesterday when I fished this part of the bank, I uh I didn't have any luck at all, but I was fishing a jerk bait, so smaller fish probably weren't even weren't even looking at that. It's John Sappington. But you never know day to day what a bank's gonna do, you know. Yeah, it changes. They move. The light changes. There's a lot of options there.
Is that what those are? Yeah, looks like it. I couldn't figure it out yesterday when I went by it. Yeah, looks it to me. Well, they were definitely better up there in that first part of slack. I was talking to a guy. Because the line was a little more defined on the mm. fast to slow water. I was talking to a guy a couple months ago. Uh, they had pulled into the dock and he said that uh, they were fishing by this old pump right here and that he had on what he thought was just a 20 to 25 pound rainbow. Really? Yeah. Huh. There's one. Ah. <laughs> we cooked that. Really thought it was the bottom at first. Well, the fish have remained relatively on the same line, same distance from yeah. the bank all the way down here. Yeah, he was deep. I'm kind of surprised that deep with his. I think it shallows shallow. up a little bit right here, doesn't it? Like I haven't fished this bank enough to know it very well. I think it, I think it stays deep around that bend right there, and I think it starts to shallow up through here, and then we know it gets shallow near the uh, near the dock. Yeah. But there's pretty good drop off there above the dock too once you get out yeah a little ways yeah we're sitting in 13 14 feet here so yeah probably eight or nine feet where we're where we're hitting the fish at i would say probably a safe bet i'd bet a dollar on it Miss another one? I don't know. It could have been the jig hitting the bottom of the slack there. It's just hard to tell. I haven't really felt the bottom a whole lot with I this just setup. Felt something. I just don't know what it was. I know that the water is getting clear enough. It's definitely time to go back to two pound test. Yeah, that turning over of the lake is pretty well gone. It was nice being able to use some heavier line though while it lasted. Yeah, you could horse them in a little better, couldn't you? Uh-huh. You don't have to worry about it so much. There's a neat old pump invention they got over there. I'm assuming somebody used to have a house built up there. I think they used to irrigate that field. Oh, irrigate the field with it? I think okay. So. I could make sense. Wrong. That was always my guess. Because there's yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But along through here somewhere there is an old foundation. I just can't I think it's farther around the bank though. Who owns that land back there? It's the college. Is that College of the yeah, Ozarks too? Uh, I walked up and down that bank quite a bit as a kid. Exploring. I'll try feathering these things through the water column. Instead of doing a big jerk, kind of do them a lot of tail wiggle. Sometimes I get them a little more excited. Yeah. All right, last cast fish. All right. Last cast rules apply. <laughs> all, all last cast rules. <laughs> What's the depth say right here? Eleven. Okay. Right. So it does start Twelve. to sh it does start yeah. to shallow up a little bit as you get past this pump. Yeah. Once we get to the corner, it's yeah. pretty shallow. You know. Halfway, maybe not even that. 
didn't like that cast. I better take one more. That's one of the rules, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. I can't have the rope, so I just kind of make them up and I think that's kind of how it works anyway. <laughs> well, I know if you get a bad cast, you get another cast. If you get a bite, you get another cast. If you didn't like the cast, you get and another I think cast. If you want another cast, you get a cast. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> Dwayne's got the official rule yeah. book on that. We're yeah. just trying to quote from memory. Oh, all right, I'm gonna call it. Yeah. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching today, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.